What's up everybody, Derek here. Today I am at Bass Pro Shops to walk through that boat right there. That is a Triton 21 TRX. Fully rigged looking boat. Uh, and I wanna go look at it. So let's go look at this thing and they're expensive, so be prepared. So let's go see how much this thing costs. Starting off, this thing looks sweet. With that color scheme, with that silver and that blue, the blacked out wheels, it's got a super nice trailer. That right there is gonna glow at night, so you can have a little bling bling on it. But man, this boat is sweet. Let's see what goodies it's got. All right, 2023, 21 foot TRX custom trailer. It's got a 250, so 21 foot, 250, 47 gallon fuel, and a 95 inch beam. That's a huge beam, but oh gosh, that'd make you pass out right there. That, gosh, boats have gotten so expensive. Is it a nice, nice boat, but oh, oh my gosh. All right, 685. That's a truck payment. Some people, it's a house payment. But 240 months. Oh, you could just buy, buy a house. Oh my gosh, this thing is so expensive, but it is also so nice. So we're gonna go ahead and walk through it. <laughs> so it's got a Minn Kota four tracks on it the iPilot this is a 112 so this is a 36 volt system so this thing is sweet it is gonna get it it's got the uh, the rock and mount or whatever that's called I can't remember what it's called but it keeps it locked in so it's not gonna be bouncing around and huge waves and all that you got the spare the swing away tongue on the trailer with the step I mean, this thing has just fully rigged. It's everything that you want in a boat, but sheesh, can you afford it? I mean, LED lights. Dang, this thing is so nice. Power pole blades. Dual power pole blades on top of that. Wow, with that 250, that thing is gonna get it. This is one fast boat. So, Let's get up on here and see the deck. All right. Wow. Look at this rod locker. Two, four, five, 10, 11, 12, 13 rods that you can hold in here. It's got the plastic right there. This thing is deep and big with the, the piston arm on it to hold that thing up so it doesn't open. Whoa, oh my gosh. You could hold every bit of bass gear you've got. Plus it's got the rod holders, cup holders. You could be so organized and you could put the foam backing on this and you could hang some of your hooks, your treble hook lures and other stuff from up there. And this one should be the same size. Yep, just no, uh, Still a rod locker if you wanted to use it. Just doesn't have the slots and it's got the pole for, you know, your lights and all that. And then you got your accessories and your call, your uh, inch board here. So you can put your pliers and scissors and all that good stuff in here. Look at this nice butt pad. I mean, this is the view of this thing. You put your dash um, fish finder right in there. You've got your anchors, cup holder, more accessories to hold, and the deck is padded. It's got a good little padding to it and adjustable seat. So you could actually put it in this one or this one if you want a little bit further back, if you're a little taller. Now, let's get down in here. All right, this is the cooler. So keep all your drinks in there, cup holder. I do not believe that this one has the console that slips in and out. I don't see any attachments for it. So this is the single console, a little tray for whatever you need to put in there. So basically for a co-angler or anybody, cause this is gonna be a serious tournament fishing boat, but gosh, these seats are so high quality. So nice, got a sound system, got the, the holders for, 
your co-angler, whoever's fishing. Now this tray, got another tray or cup holder or just whatever you need in here. Man, these seats are nice. And it looks like they may be adjustable. Yep, adjustable forward and back with the hot foot down underneath. So you just get it into gear. Then you use your hot foot down in here for your throttle. Doesn't have a fish finder on it yet, which is kind of interesting. Got your gauges, mile per hour, all the, everything that you need, your bilge, live oil, accessories. It's a nice, nice boat. And then all your other stuff that you need for your bilge, lights, fuses, all that good stuff. Radio player, fuse block. A uh, cigarette lighter in your horn, and then I think that's the runtime gauge. But oh, I got something messed up with the steering wheel. Well, that ain't right. But you got your trim for both of these pro trim. So it's got a jack plate, and then the actual, yeah, jack plate here, and then your actual trim here. So trim, jack plate. Then on the back back here. Deep, deep live well. And it looks like it's got an oxygen oxygenator in there. Keeps stuff really alive. And the same on this side, so it's divided. So you can put a lunker in here and four bass in here if you're tournament fishing. Ugh, deep, man, that is deep. That'll hold so much stuff. Wow. And even this back seat, it's curved and nice material on it. Ugh. Same thing as the other side there. And obviously you've got your jack plate right there. This is a nice, nice setup. Oh, even more trays. Battery trays, you got your battery bank right there. Your hydraulic system for your power poles right there. It's a nice little setup in here. More trays over there. So you got, let's see, one, two. Ugh. Three, four. So you got a starting battery and then the three for the trolling motor. So maxed out you can probably find more room if you need another backup battery but with some of the new lithium stuff that they come out with they've got an actual jumping side on most batteries if they die out this is a sweet boat oh for if you fall out of the boat the cool little thing if you need to get back in dang this is a nice boat Dang, that's an expensive boat, but man, is it sweet. Fully rigged. One thing that's missing, you might get some bonus bucks out of Bass Pro for putting fish finders and other stuff in it, but those are gonna add up pretty quick or any other accessories or stuff that you want on this thing. But for what it is and the price, what did it say, 89,000? Sheesh, that is, for 240 months, you're gonna be paying forever. So do the math on that interest, but to look at it, not too bad because some people really can buy stuff like this or maybe they got a sponsor to help them out so i don't know people's situations but if you want a boat like that and you're gonna be willing to pay for it there it is would i be buying it absolutely not i got a family and i can fish out of a john boat or anything else but it sure is cool to come up here and look at these boats but thanks for watching you guys and subscribe if you haven't already like this video if you liked it and i'll see you guys in the next one